everyone, so for today's video I'm going to be vlogging as you can see and already know by the title. Basically, I have a couple of events happening over the summer that I want to vlog so I'm trying to get myself back into the swing of vlogging and trying to improve before the summer. And I also just felt like vlogging. It's going to be quite a stay at home vlog this weekend because I have college work to do so that's basically what I'm going to be doing but hopefully I will make this vlog interesting for you. I'm actually not in my bedroom at the minute, I'm in my study room because my dad painted my bedroom during the week because there was this like black in the corner and under the window which was like a buildup of condensation and stuff so he painted it for me and he had to use exterior paint for like the outside of your house in my room so the smell of it was like way too strong for me to sleep in it last night so I slept here instead which is pretty nice because there's a TV right there so I get to watch TV in bed but yeah it's about what time is it it's about half 11 which is pretty good for me like Usually I wake up at 11 and then I don't have breakfast till 12, so this is pretty good for me. But I'm having breakfast right now, I'm having my favourite breakfast, well one of my favourite breakfasts. Is that right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm having toast with, with um, oh what's this bread called again? Sourdough bread toast with lactose free cheese and lactose free butter. Because I find lactose free cheese is just a lot nicer to Eat. it's just it's a lot softer and not as strong of a taste I'm also having some dried mangoes because they're delicious and also some green tea with honey and water and I'm watching Midsummer Murders because it's the only good thing on telly right now so um oh hold on let me mute this so I've just realized I think I called this show Midsummer Murders instead of Murder She Wrote I'm watching Murder She Wrote not with summer murders. They're all the same to me, really. <laughs> so these are all the products I used on my face today. On my eyes, I used this Wet n Wild Trio in Sweet as Candy and I love these colors. They look so pretty. Then for my lips, I used a combination of these two, um, the MAC Lip Liner in Half Red and this MAC Lipstick in the shade Cream Cup and uh, this is what it looks like. It has a bit of lip liner left on it, which is kind of disgusting. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I can honestly be such a poser sometimes. It's ridiculous. I don't know what it is about Saturdays, but on Saturdays, I get the time to do my makeup properly. So I tend to always take Snapchats on Saturdays with my makeup done and do like a little makeup of the day kind of thing. Just let me show you the Snapchat I just did. Sometimes I'm like ridiculously posy. And it's weird because I can never take selfies of myself in public. It's only like when I'm by myself that I can take selfies. Is it focused yet? Focus. Focus. Focus on me. I honestly think I've been watching too much of Kylie Jenner's Snapchats because she tends to have music on but she lip syncs to it. I don't like doing that. I just kind of use the filters. I don't know, I just find it weird when I post Snapchats like that because I'm really not a poser at all. Like, I don't consider myself one but it's just something about those bloody Snapchat filters that makes me into such a poser when I use them. But right now I am just going to try and find our brown package wrapping paper because I have to wrap this box up to send to someone for a collab and that is such a big hint at what my collab is but yeah I'm really excited for it so I hope you can see me I'm gonna go down like this so you can actually see me I have the paper sellotape scissors my phone and the box i don't know if you can see me because i don't have a flippy out screen so i'm just guessing <laughs> but yeah i know i have to try and wrap this thing so that should be in <sighs> i'm actually quite nervous to try and wrap this because i feel like i'm gonna make a mess of it and i don't want to but okay 
Okay, I can do this. I can wrap it. Wrap presents before it's just like wrapping a present. I hope. Why I chose to wrap it on a bed, I don't know because this is not stable. Cat is hiding under the table. You all right, Jim? Hmm? What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm a little over. No, you're an awful scary cat. Aww. You're making it very awkward for me to pet you right now. He's gonna be three soon, which is mental. Isn't it? <laughs> I don't think he wants me to film him anymore. <laughs> he wants to sleep. Boop. So basically, I asked on Twitter and Snapchat for you to send me any questions you would like me to answer because I really wanted to do a little Q&A in this vlog, so that's what I'm doing. I also asked in the Irish YouTubers Facebook group, so I'm going to be answering questions from there as well. Uh, I'm going to start with the questions from Twitter. First question is from at Sinead Bakes, and her question is, what made you start YouTube and who inspired you to make videos? What made me start YouTube was watching other vloggers and singers. I really, really love the idea of uploading covers on YouTube. I also really love the idea of vlogging on YouTube, but I was too scared to vlog, so I started posting covers and then eventually I built up the courage to start vlogging <laughs> and it went from there, but it was really just like other vloggers, mostly British vloggers like Zoella and Carrie and all them because they were the only ones I knew at the time. I The only Irish YouTuber I knew back in like, when did I start? Like two? 2013? I can't remember when I started. It was around 2012, 2013 when I started, I think. And the only Irish YouTuber I knew then was Bry. So it was mostly like British YouTubers that inspired me. Next question is from at Emer is weird. You all know Emer. We've done tons of videos together. But she wants to know what are you most excited for this summer? I am excited for all of the YouTube conventions I'm going to. I'm going to two this year, Summer in the City, which is in August, and CrackCon, which is the Irish YouTuber event in July. I think it's July 2nd. I'll have a link to where you can get tickets for both of them in the description box. I highly recommend you go to CrackCon if you are Irish though, because it was, it's a lot of fun. What I'm most excited for, I'm excited for those two obviously, and also I'm going to Beyonce in July which I'm really, really excited about because I've wanted to go to a concert of hers for years. She is one of my idols. I think that she is an amazing talent and she is an amazing businesswoman as well. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited to see her concert. And I'm also just excited for the summer and hopefully getting to hang out with other YouTubers more. Um, besides hanging out with them at conventions, I really want to try and hang out with YouTubers outside of conventions because at the minute that's really the only time I hang out with YouTubers and that's like once a year which isn't great so I want to try and make an effort this summer to see my YouTube friends more often. That was such a long-winded answer. <laughs> Next question is from Lisa. Her um, at is at Lissy underscore T. Um, her question is what country would you like to live in other than Ireland and why? Um, I would love to live in the UK. It's not. It doesn't seem like it's very different from Ireland, but it seem it does seem different at the same time. I don't know. I've always liked the idea of living in the UK because I feel like there is more stuff in the UK, especially when it comes to YouTube. There's a lot more opportunities and a lot more things to do for smaller YouTubers and stuff. So, yeah, I love to live in the UK. I'd also love to live in France. If I could speak French fluently, I'd love to live there. I just love the language, the culture. It just seems like such a pretty country as well. And where else? A few years ago, I would have said America, but right now with Donald Trump running for president, 
presidency. I don't think I'd like to live there. I, I'm kind of unsure if I'd like to live in America. Maybe for a little bit, but not like permanently. And now on to the Facebook questions. Um, first question is from Kieran O'Reilly and he asks, what types of song covers would you like to do in the future? Um, when it comes to actual songs, I pick songs by whether I can sing them or not, whether I like them or not, and that's basically it. I get into phases where sometimes I'll only do songs that are current because I feel like they'll get more views than older songs, but for the most part I just pick songs that I like and that I know I can sing. I would like the quality of my cover videos to get better, I want to invest in um, one of those recording mics. Yeah, I want to invest in a really good microphone to fill my covers in and covers with, not in. And I also would love to film some covers with a band, like a full band. Um, I think that would be really cool as well. Next question is from Holly King and she asks, if you could collab with any singer slash band, who would you collab with and why? First, band that comes into my head is Codeline because they're one of my, one of my all time favourite bands so I would love to sing with them. Second would be James Bay because I've seen a couple of covers he's done from the Radio 1 Live Lounge and they've been amazing so I'd love to do a cover with him or like a mashup or something and I'd also love to sing with the Vamps because in the early days of them when they were still posting like covers on YouTube and stuff. They used to do really cool mashups and covers and just make them really different and interesting. So it would be really nice to do a cover with them because I think it would be a lot of fun. So um, I'm back in my bed now. I'm in my room. I'm gonna try and sleep here tonight, although you can still 
smell the paint quite strongly. It's not as bad as yesterday or the day before. So I'm gonna try and sleep here. I have all of my candles in my room lit, so hopefully that should work. We've already seen them anyways. Um, and I also have my windows open, or well, locked open there. And I've had to put my little owl thing at the door so that I won't rattle. But it's really cute, as you can see. I've decided I'm gonna vlog tomorrow as well because I'm not sure if today's vlog was any good. So I'm gonna vlog again and I also really enjoyed vlogging today. So if you're watching this, then expect another vlog soon. But right now I'm just gonna watch some more TV. I'm probably gonna watch Criminal Minds and Awkward and maybe Catfish and then go to sleep. If you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps me out. Um, if you're not subscribed already and you would like to see more vlogs then hit subscribe so you can get notified when I upload which is every Wednesday or Sunday and yeah I hope you enjoy this video and that you have a good rest of the day bye